Hey everyone, it's Konami Aya and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be opening, unboxing, and reviewing the December 2016 Doki Doki Crate by Japan Crate. We're still on that catch-up train and you can visit this video right here to find out why. And you can visit this video right here to see the Yume Twins box that came before this Doki Doki box. Like I always do with all of my Doki Doki boxes, they write a message on the back of the box that says Daisuke, which means we love you. And Doki Doki Crate, I love you too. So let's get into the box, shall we? Bam! Let's start by looking at this magazine. So I can already see here we have the homeroom bears. We have my girl who is Hopechan, Tanuki friend Nuki here, and of course this is Tomomi. She is a cover model and representative for all things Doki Doki. Now we know who she is. She's just been shown in many different styles and I got confused, I'm sorry. Also on the front it says it's Doki Doki's one year anniversary holiday celebration. Just so exciting. Christmas time. So I need to stop the video here and we need to do what I did in the last video and play a little jingle bell and do a little choir singing. Okay, bringing in the Christmas theme spirit. We're bringing it in. It's Christmas guys y'all. You and me. Christmas. That's what this video is. It's Christmas, okay? Gosh. And cue the regular music. <laughs> Opening up to page one, we have the table of contents. Page two has a little message from the Doki Doki team. Doki Doki one year anniversary holiday celebration. Arigato gozaimasu, which means thank you. This month marks the first year anniversary of our Doki Doki crates. Thank you to the Japan Crate family, but a special thank you to you subscribers. We truly would not have been able to make it this far without your support, so we're gonna make this month all about you, just in time for the holidays. Your crate includes an anniversary scratcher card that could win you anything from a discount for our, our new online store to a Totoro sleeping bag or Galaxy Style 3DS. If you find a code for a big prize, please email it to info at japancrate.com to redeem your prize. See your scratcher for more details. You'll also find a squeaky amused Pote Usa bunny as a bonus item. Many of them have tags with unique QCON codes. If you find a unique code, please mail it to info at japancrate.com with subject line lucky bunny winner and the code. Thank you so much for being part of the Doki Doki Crate family. It is our greatest pleasure to bring joy to you each month, and it has been so great to help mold the crate based on all your feedback. We can't wait for you to see what the upcoming year has to offer. Say kawaii, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the new year. Happy holidays! Page three has Tomomi's diary at the top where she recounts shopping with Nuki in disguise for her Christmas. Underneath that is Hopechan Adventures, which has a little blurb about the Hopechan that we are going to get this month, as well as what she's doing, and it looks like she's getting ready for a Christmas date. Page four is our two strips from Doki Doki for Koma. Page five and six have all the items that we are going to get in this Doki Doki crate. Page seven has a picture of all the stuff that one lucky winner of the Suteki crate got this month. Page eight is all about homeroom bear. The homeroom bears are back, but what's this? Are they on a Christmas date? Or is it all a misunderstanding? Calvin doesn't know that people, in this case bears, go on dates in Japan during Christmas time. So when Coco asks him, he thinks she is just being her friendly self. Will Coco be able to tell him her feelings? And will Calvin realize that he's on a romantic Christmas date? Whether you receive the bubbly and well-intended Coco or the handsome, albeit confused Calvin, either will be sure to keep you company this holiday season. Keep them close as the perfect shopping companion or share them with your loved ones, whether it be family or friends. These little bears just want to warm people's hearts this winter. Page nine has a thank you from Doki Doki. Page 10 is the community page where they have all of these people who use the hashtag Doki Doki Crate on their social media. And I am not on it again, but I'm just gonna remain calm. At the bottom, it has the artist spotlight and the artist this month is Tomo. All right guys, let's get into the box. So first things first, we got these scratch tickets, just like the other scratch tickets that we got they have like different prizes. For both of the ones that I got, I got 50% off of my purchase at the Doki Doki store, so that's cool. So let's get into the items. 
first item up is Daily Organizer. 2016 is almost over and one way to begin working on those New Year's resolutions is with the Daily Organizer. Stay organized in the new year with a planner decorated with coffee symbols of Japan including Mount Fuji, a Daruma, and a Kokeshi doll. Daruma. In order to make a wish, you fill in one eye with black ink and leave the other eye blank until the wish is fulfilled. Kokeshi doll. Traditional Japanese dolls that differ depending on the artist or the area it was made. Alrighty guys, so this is the organizer that we got. I kind of misread what they were trying to say when they were talking about the different things on the organizer. I thought that they were going to be different organizers, but instead there's just one that features all of the things that were mentioned. On the front we have Mount Fuji looking all cute and stuff, and it says Bit Jolt, which in Japanese translates to notebook. Then on the side in Japanese it says Sike Juru which would mean schedule, but it was written in hiragana, not katakana, which when there is a word that can't be translated into a Japanese word, we use katakana in order to write out borrowed words. So for example, chocolate doesn't have a Japanese equivalent, so it's chokoreto, whereas strawberry has a Japanese equivalent and that's ichigo. So we would write ichigo in hiragana and chokoreto in katakana. This should technically be written like this. Then on the back we have the Kokeshi doll, the Daruma, and a cat that looks a little bit like cream from Nekowatsume. And then it says kawaii, which is the Japanese word for cute. And then underneath that it says kyuto. Again, written in hiragana, should have been written in katakana. Confusing, I don't know, maybe it's just supposed to look cute, I'm not quite sure. But opening up, this is actually pretty cool because they have like little rings on the binder. You can see on the inside, it's really awesome because you can fill in the dates. So you are not confined to a certain month or a certain year. You can actually fill it out month by month as you see fit. Someone like me, who is terrible at keeping track of these things, I might start one with good intentions, but I might mess up. I know at least I'm not 100% screwed if that happens. So this is actually a really awesome look. And then on the back, it looks like we have some lined paper. Just in case you need to add in your notes, then on the back, you can like fill out the personal profile. You can put a picture of yourself, your name, your telephone number, your address, your favorite things, birthday, zodiac sign, and your hobbies. So that's kind of cool too. Aside from the weirdness, uh, I personally think weirdness of the writing, this is actually super useful and very cute. I could definitely see the application for it. Um, I have a cell phone though, so I don't really need this. Next up we got a homeroom bear. Calvin and Coco. Calvin is a bright British foreign exchange student dressed here in a classic plaid scarf instead of his usual gakudan. Coco is a kind-hearted but airheaded schoolgirl and is dressed fashionably in a red shawl to match her signature red bow. So last time I got Calvin in the form of the little metro pass. And this time, I get Coco. So this is her tag, it's Homeroom Bear Christmas State Edition. And then on the back of that, we have uh, the story of the Christmas date again. Then we have Coco, and she's wearing this cute little shawl here. There's like a bow, so adorable. This one is well made. Like we can see the stitching right here is nice. The embroidery is nice. All the lines and the felt even is nice and tight in there. She has this cute little button tail. So I am really glad to see that they are putting that quality back into their plushies. Wow, I just realized that my chair is like super squeaky. Sorry about it. All right, next up is this. Pote Usa Lapi Eco Bag. Want to stay green but be kawaii while doing it? This reusable bag is an Amuse Cross Doki Doki exclusive and it features everyone's favorite floppy-eared bunny, Pote Usa Lapi. Amuse is a famous Japanese arcade prize maker known for their adorable animal characters, making this bag a rare collector's item that is as functional as it is cute. With Christmas just around the corner, it'll also be perfect for your next shopping trip and for carrying around those heavy presents. Okay guys, so can we just take a second to look at this right here? 
Amuse never fails to make super adorable things, including this character, Pote Usa. Like, what? I think it's because Amuse likes to give their animal characters cheeks and blush. I don't know, I fall for it every single time. But this is the Pote Usa shopping bag, or the eco bag as they called it. It has this little clip here actually, which is very convenient if you wanna put it on your keychain or clipped somewhere in your car, which is actually very ingenious. And then here we have the little snappy and out pops the bag. Hello? <laughs> So this is the bag, way bigger than I thought it was. Holy crap. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to get this back in there. Oh, whoa, okay, so this is really cute. This is the huge shopping bag, holy moly. Like I said, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was, and the straps go front and back. So when you have it on, like all of the items stay in the bag. That's so cool. I'd say that this quality is what I would expect from something labeled as an eco bag. It's pretty sturdy. So uh, the claim that it could hold heavy presents, that's, that's not a lie. This is something that would be able to do it. Stitching is pretty standard. Honestly, like it'll hold together. I would say that this material would be something you would find on a, a higher end umbrella. Not something that's completely like indestructible, but something that uh, will last a while if you treat it well. I'm gonna challenge myself really quick to try and put this back in and uh, we'll see if I can do it. we go look at that I'm gonna slip this back in here I did it except for the fact that after literally one use I will probably never be able to get it back in there ever again but it is light uh, so if I just fold it any old way and try my best I'm sure it'll fit back in there just fine all right next up is I don't even is this what is this Fluffy pink pen. If you're planning on writing a letter to Santa, be sure to do it in style with his adorable and unique pen. Even after the holidays are over, you'll be able to sport this pen on the daily, in class or at work, making you the most kawaii of them all. Wrapped in plastic with a bow, we got a fluffy lollipop pen. This is... I don't know what this is. Let's... Oh no, it's not like the kind of pens that we've gotten earlier where it literally just writes right out of it. It's a ballpoint, but it's a stubborn ballpoint. Hmm, that's disappointing. Uh, um, cute. It's a, it's a pen that looks like a lollipop. It's fluffy. Moving on. Okay, so next item I saw in here is this guy. Mama Sheba cell phone cleaner. Amuse's Bean Shiba Inu are round and cute, just like their namesake. The characters are three Shiba Inu brothers named Mame Taro, Mame Jiro, and Mama Seburo, but are also joined by a new doggy friend named Sasuke. These cell phone cleaners are perfect for cleaning your phone after a long day of taking photos with friends and family. So if you saw my last Yume Twins box review, which was the video supposedly before this one, we got a very similar item. It's from the same series, except instead of cubes, they're cute little squishy plushies. And who called it? Amuse plushies, all of them, they always have the cheeks. They always have blush. And this is so cute. Um, for this guy though, his microfiber cloth is his belly. Hold on, let me dirty up my phone really quick. Mm. So let's say you have a dirty, nasty phone. It's kind of gross that I can do that, like, on command. That's, that's kind of gross. Anyway, you take your disgusting, gross screen, and then you take your cute friend, and you rub him back and forth. 
on the screen and then your screen doesn't look so gross and crappy anymore. Ta-da! All right, so the next thing is this. Doki Doki One Year Anniversary Bonus, Usa Lappy Squeaker. This tiny squeaker is a perfect stress reliever during the busy and hectic holiday season. Usa Lappy's cuteness is also sure to help you get through even the most stressful of days. So this is a Pote Usa Lappy Bunny Squeaker, and it's really not anything more than that. It's just a squeaker. My dog is going insane. I'm just gonna put that away. We're down to our last two items in the box, and I'm sure you know what this one is. Monthly Hope Chan. Hope Chan is ready for her Christmas date, dressed in white like the falling snow and wearing a festive red bow. Her Christmas present is ready and a Christmas tree has been trimmed just in time for Santa to arrive. So look at this adorable little scene right here that we have. We have Hope Chan and she's surrounded by these cute little presents. She is getting ready for a Christmas date. Look at this tree right here. Pull this off of the scene. First of all, look at the scene. So cute. Mm. This tree is, looks like a cookie. It's so cute. And then look at her, all these little pearls. And this present is pretty cute too. It's not squishy though, which is weird. I thought it would be squishy, but it's pretty hard. However, Hope Chan herself, won't, 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 and the stuff around her is really squishy and glittery and cute. So yes, a plus. I love it. And you guys probably knew that because you know that I'm obsessed with Hope Chan. So, oh, I noticed though when you don't see the top, it looks kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. So maybe it's not a cupcake. Maybe it's a Reese's peanut butter cup with like a scene on top. Who knows? It's cute. So last item in the box is, what? Paw gloves. Let's face it, it's hard to stay kawaii when it's freezing out, but these paw gloves will do the trick. They're gray and pink, a fashionable color combo in Japan this winter. The gloves are furry and warm and even have holes for your fingers so that your paws look like they have claws. And if you've ever been worried about not being able to use your smartphone with gloves on, look no further, because with your fingers free, you can do that too. Never miss a text from a loved one this holiday season. That is so cool. So first off, look at this bag. It says Doki Doki Holiday Edition. And then on the front, it has this. So this is like Doki Doki branded. You probably can't find this in the store, obviously. You can probably shop for it on uh, the shop for Doki Doki. I'm gonna open these guys up and try them on. So there's like a little sweater string in here. I don't know if that was intentional or, oh, okay. Yeah, there's little loops on the side so you can have them tied together, just like mittens where you'd have them like hung around your neck when you weren't using them. But when you slip these guys on, so these are adorable. I don't know, I like I haven't gone outside with them so I can't really tell you like if they keep me warm. They seem like they would do the trick. You can still have access to use your phone, which is kind of cool. They're very soft on the inside and very nice to wear. And in fact, hold on one sec. I truly honestly think that Yume Twins and Doki Doki are working in cahoots. They have a cat hat from Yume Twins and cat glove paw things from Doki Doki, which are totally adorable. I love, 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 love. So cute, so cute. All right guys, so that was the final item in the box. Now it's time for my final verdict and review. And this is a Doki Doki review. So I'm gonna take this off for now. Okay guys, so this month we got eight items. Like I said with the Yume Twins box, it seems like that's kind of like the safe zone for a lot of these sub boxes. Eight to 10 items is what it looks like we're going to get as a standard. We're gonna go ahead and start with my least favorite item in the box. And I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but this lollipop pink pen was my least favorite item in the box. And it was also the easiest to pick out as my least favorite because I actually liked all of the other items, which is very rare that I like uh, a large majority of stuff in the box, except for like the summer box where I just like loved everything. The thing that I liked the most out of this box 
was actually the paw gloves. These are practical in ways that I didn't think about while I was doing the review, which was literally just minutes ago. The fact that you can still text, the fact that you can drive is a big one. My hands are actually kind of getting warm, uh, which means that regardless of where you are, these should keep you pretty, pretty toasty. I also noticed that the quality of these guys is very good. There's like elastic. This is useful, not gonna be using it, obviously, cause I'm pretty, good with gloves, but I can see where if a kid would need to keep onto them, there you go. Next is the theme. The theme was Christmas, so you can go one of two ways. Looks like Yume Twins this time was a little confused about their theme, whereas Doki Doki hit the nail on the head. They had a ton of cute items, and it all seemed to not only just fit around the theme of cute, but they had a really good rhythm going with all their items. Like the Amuse Loppy Squeaker went with the Loppy Bag, which also went with the Mabashima a cell phone cleaner because they're both Amuse products. Then they, we have a Christmas Hope Chan, and then we have uh, Coco and Calvin who are also doing a Christmas theme. We have these paw gloves because it's cold outside. The daily organizer and the fluffy pen, they go together even though I hated the fluffy pen. It's still like in the cohesiveness. That was probably another thing. The daily organizer threw me off because of the weird writing on the outside, but I'm not going to fault it because it's still pretty awesome. Do I think that this was worth the money? Yes, 100%. I absolutely think that this box was worth the money. And I really hope to see boxes like this in the future because it means that we can keep looking forward to these amazing boxes. Of course, Doki Doki has disappointed me in the past and so has Yumi Twins, so you never know what you're going to get. And unfortunately, with these subscription boxes, it's always going to be a grab bag. That's about it for this review for me. If you like this video, give it a pause up. If you wanna see more crazy randomness and reviews from this channel, be sure to find and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be and keep up to date on all things Konami Eye. If you want to follow me on social media, you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Konami Eye. If you have any questions, comments, or wanna leave your feels, leave them in the comments box below. Please remember to be kind with the comments you see, even if you disagree. And the best way to defeat someone who's rude and is trolling is to just ignore them and keep on scrolling. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is Konami I saying thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.